Ladies and gents, welcome back again for a new video. I hope you're all doing good. I missed you. This is going to be the first video of 2026, so let's go. Yeah, bro, how many days it's been? Six days already? Bro! So today we're talking about something that I think would be seriously interesting for the future of phones. Especially if you're into Linux phones and alternatives to regular boring Android smartphones and iPhones. We already know that for the past few years, Linux phones has gone from a silly idea to something real people are actually using. They're still kind of niche though, and most people don't even know they exist. But they're here. They're getting better. It's exciting because it's all about freedom, control and choice again in the mobile world where there is no choice. Now let's talk about the topic of the day, the clicks communicator. The things showed up recently in the app. At first glance, you're like, wait, is that a modern Blackberry? And honestly, that's exactly what it feels like. It's got a physical QWERTY keyboard built right in. And by the way, the same keyboard have touch sensitive keys that lets you scroll and navigate without always touching the screen. Wait, the screen is such? Wait, that's another future. Nice. Also a compact 4-inch AMOLED display and the design focused on typing and messaging instead of doom scrolling. And also my favorite feature is that it has a kill switch on the side, which completely disconnects the microphone and camera. And to be honest, I will pay that $399 just for this future sounds on modern phones no matter what you do. Data will still get collected from your device anyways, unless you smash your phone with a hammer and destroy it completely. Now talking about the OS, it runs Android 16 out of the box, but even though it's running the latest version of Android, it, that doesn't mean it's trying to be a flagship phone that compares with the new Samsung Galaxy and instead it's all about communication, emails, messages, voice to text, quick replies and it even has a handy signal LED on the side that lights up different colors for different notifications. Really cool. It also has a 3.5 headphone jack and that's something that we truly need back because we're missing that on modern phones. Also it offers expandable storage with micro SD cards up to 2 terabytes. Dude, okay. I, I, I mean, like, why would you need two terabytes on a phone like that? I mean, I don't know. I have no idea why you're asking me. And of course, in case you didn't notice, it has interchangeable back cover, so you can style it your own way. It's interesting how styling is once again a thing. Evolve did that with its Steam machine, and now Clix is doing that with its Clix communicator. And I'm wondering what's gonna be next. Sorry I get distracted so easily, but Gabe, I have a question. Is that your little brother, by any chance? Like... Like, like, I'm just saying, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, I'm just saying, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. Now, again, when you look at the specs, it's really not that flagship level. 15 megapixel rear camera, 24 megapixel front camera, global 5G supports, wireless charging, and a 4000 mAh silicon carbon battery tucked inside. Also, the battery doesn't need to be as big since this phone was made to be used only when you truly need it for productivity reasons. Unless you want to install TikTok on it and doom scroll, anyways, making the CEO consider making a doom scrolling version with a bigger battery. Alright, so here is where things get spicy for people who are into Linux and open source passion projects. The phone is expected to ship with Android 16, as I said, so it's great and all, but it's still a part of the big ecosystem system we're all kind of trying to get some distance from. But imagine this, what if developers or the Linux phone community could unlock the bootloader or the full native Linux OS and run something like Postmarket OS or Mobian on this hardware? Or the least we could have is Ubuntu Touch, which already supports a wide variety of Android phones, so why not this one? And that will take this phone from being just a cool keyboard phone that is different or a Blackberry lookalike to a true open source contender, something that actually gives users full freedom over the software in a way Android just doesn't. Having physical keys, a compact focus interface, and a community driven Linux build could turn this into a productivity machine for developers and freedom seeking users. You'll basically get a pocket computer that doesn't lock you into Google or Apple's rules, and that's huge for Linux users. A Linux phone, an actual Linux phone. And you wouldn't believe it, but the Clix communicator is getting attention already even before its release. Now, the Linux idea might sound a bit silly at first, but it makes sense. Like, dude, this thing has a keyboard, and technically a mouse, since the keyboard keys are touch sensitive. Yes, the screen is not that big, but what if you connect this to an external screen using the Type C connection this phone offers? It's for charging and data transfer, but such a port can also be used 
to cast your screen on a bigger screen. I'm sure most people that will buy such a thing will use it as it is, but us Linux users love thinking out of the box. And don't get me wrong, Android is cool, but Arch or Debian will be a hundred times much cooler on such device. So what you guys think? Is the Clix communicator just a cool Android experiments or could this be the next big thing? If of course it gets a Linux support and community support. Drop a comment below and let me know. I'll be interested in reading that. This was it for today's video and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.